Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about how to tell MyPy that a key actually exists in a dictionary. Um, I did another video about optional types, which is very similar to this, so I will try and remember to link that in the description. Um, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm going to show you kind of two code samples of similar things to this problem uh, that I've seen recently. Uh, this was actually asked a long while back and I forgot to do a video about it, so sorry to the person that asked, but... Um, yeah, anyway, so uh, this was an example that, um, you know, not the actual code, but similar to what I saw in a code base at work, uh, where somebody was accessing an environment variable, and they basically had a thing that was like uh, my key, or like, I think it was port, yeah, I think it was port, actually, um, equals int os.getenv, actually, I think they had os.environ.get uh, port, if port in os.environ else 9001 or something like that. And then, you know, they eventually went on to use this value later in the code. I think it was actually a module constant. Uh, but if we run MyPy on this, install MyPy, uh, MyPy will complain about this, t.py, and you'll see that we get this kind of annoying error that says argument one to int has incompatible type optional stir expected union stir bytes support sent sports index sports trunk etc um, and if we run this code it actually works fine so if we oh, resize my virtual machine yeah, well <laughs> you're just gonna have to deal with those pixels for the oh no now the right hand side is messed up okay anyway uh, let's let's actually just print this. So when you print port, and if we run this, if we don't have port set, you'll see that it prints 9001. If we set port to something else, you'll see that it prints that well. So we know this line works correctly, so you might think, oh no, my pie is just wrong here. Uh, but we can actually convince it of this, and, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, and if we break down this expression, this is the part that MyPy is unhappy about. And the reason that it's unhappy about that is even though we, you know, are only running that code if port is in environ, uh, we are still calling this dot get function, which actually points at a bit of a programming error. If you know the key is always going to be there, you should never call dot get. And that is because dot get will return none if it does not exist or a default. So like you could have said like, 9001. Actually, I think like, you know, this is probably a better way to write the code that had been written there, but, you know, to each to each their own. And so the fix for this is instead of, you know, telling MyPy to to understand more about this, it's actually to fix the code itself and to put, you know, brackets around this access here and and force that to be uh, a, a direct dictionary access. And then MyPy will know this is a string and so that no has to work. So you can see MyPy is now happy with it. Now, the other situation that I saw was a key that may be present in a dictionary, um, but was situationally always there. And it was actually exactly the same, you know, code as this, um, but was again using dot get. And so often the fix for this particular problem is don't use dot get. Or if it is actually optional and you are actually using dot get, you will need to handle that none case. And um, I talk about that in the optional video, which I will link in the description. Um, but usually that's either casting, asserting, or handling that particular none value. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.